Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. A, a church you can call home where we honor God and love families, serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. Amen. So, bienvenidos a la iglesia nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive God at some point. Amen. And don't let him go. Just say, I want what you got. Amen. Yes. He's got something for you. So, yeah. whoo, it's there for you. Hallelujah. God wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct us. You know why? Because he's our Heavenly Father, and yeah. we're his children. And the Heavenly Father is always correcting his children. Amen. So, praise God. None of us are perfect. We're still growing <laughs> and going for God. That's what we're going to be talking about. Growing and going. Amen. That's our message for today. Amen. I'll let you know a little more about it in a few minutes. But we got to grow and go mm. for him, for Jesus on a daily basis. Amen. Not just once in a while. Not just from Sunday to Sunday or Wednesday to Sunday or where, whenever. You know, but on a daily basis. We yeah. just got to grow. That means mature. We got to mature in the things of God. Yes. We can't be spirit, uh, spiritual babies all our lives. You know? That's it. Remember, it's a full-time devil and part-time Christians, no match to a full-time devil. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is ready. We got to stay ready. And we got to yes. stay connected to the right source. Yeah. Him, the greater one. Amen. So praise God. Let's make this declaration together before we continue. Yeah. Grab your swords. Amen. And let's say it like we mean it. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's say Lord. this. Declaration. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do all things to you. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. You know, it says, my mind is alert. Amen. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle, and the battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. And your mind is going 100 miles an hour all the yes. time. I mean, it's going, it's going, it's going. <laughs> so, guess where the enemy is going to attack the most? Yeah. The mind. So, we got to renew our mind with the Word of God. Amen? Because if we don't, we're just going to fall, just like the world, you know? And we're going to start doing things we're not supposed to. So, Let's remember this, okay? So praise God, amen. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Um, I just read a, a, a scripture break to the church, and I want to read it to those of you that are joining us, amen? So praise God. Listen to this. Trust Him. Only trust Him. No matter how bad and terrifying things get, uh, get trust God. He's always, he's always, will always be uh, faithful. God has promised to be a, a refuge and a fortress to those who will trust and dwell in Him. Yes. He wants to be your protection, your security. He'll never let you down. He'll never leave you nor forsake you, yes, yes. even when you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And He is always there to deliver you from any problems, any kinds of devastation. Only trust Him. Yes. Amen. 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 Can't get no better than that. Only trust Him. Praise God. And as you, as you trust in Him, you're going to trust Him more and more as you spend time with Him. Yeah. As you spend time in His Word. Because it's going to build your faith up. Mm -hmm. And you're going to step out in faith instead of fearing all the time. Fear is, He's not giving us a spirit of fear. That's it. Power of love and of a sound mind. Sound and we're going to step out in faith. Amen. So praise yeah. God. So prepare yourselves. Here we go. Growing and going for Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is you. This is us. Amen. Our, our, man, our main text is going to be Mark 16 and 15. But we're going to read up to verse uh, 18. So grab your Bibles. You can turn it up. Uh, Here we go. It says, uh, this is Mark 16 and 15. And King James, it says, And he said unto them, Gee, we're talking about Jesus. Amen. Right before he was taken up to heaven. He met with his disciples, amen. And this is uh, what, he, what, he, what he told them. So this is what he's telling you. You're a child of God now. So listen to this. Verse 15 says, And he said unto them, Go. Yeah. So if nobody ever told you that, now you know. Yeah. He's telling you, go. go. He didn't say sit. He didn't say, you know, hey, just uh, stay on the wayside. You know, stay by the, by the wayside there or stay on the side there. He says, go. go. Amen. He says, go. And listen, 
Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creation, yes. to every creature. Mm -hmm. So if <laughs> preach the word to every creature, okay? Uh, here we go. It's a King James Version. It says, go into all the world mm -hmm. and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, and he who does not believe will be condemned. Mark 16, 15, and 16, New King James. So, you listen, you're thinking, do I have to go uh, uh, across the ocean? Do I have to go, what part of the world do I have to go? <laughs> you know, your world is where you live. Yeah. yeah. Okay, your world is right there where you live. Your, your workplace, uh, your living place, in that area. You know what, there's always lots of people around there. Yeah. So you can bring the word of God to all these people where you live. Don't exclude yourself, include yourself. Participate. Mm -hmm. Be involved. You know, and he wants you to go and share with these people. Yes. You know, for God so loved the world, meaning people. Mm -hmm. He loves people and he's going to use you to go yeah. and minister to these people. Yeah. What do I do? I bring the good news. It says preach. It says preach. Mm -hmm. Preach the word. Preach the word. Baptize them to every, 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 every creature. Amen. Every person that you come across you know you'll know don't be afraid god will use you he wants to use you you just haven't stepped out in faith you need to step out in faith amen yeah. so praise god let me read you what else we got here he says growing and going for for jesus grow where he plants you you know everybody this is a time of the year you know where everybody plants something and when you plant something you expect it to grow Yes. You know, well, what do I do? Uh, you got you got to water it with the word of God. Mm. Amen. You take the word of God in and you water it and you, and you meditate and you study. Amen. So praise God. But see, he says, be fruitful for him. Yes. He puts you where he wants you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too, too far ahead of myself, but he wants you to bloom. He wants you to be fruitful wherever he plants you. Every seed grows. Every tree, every plant, every flower, it, 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 it'll, it'll mature and it'll bloom. Amen. It'll produce fruit because God made it that way. So he wants us to do the same thing. He wants us to be like this. It says, grow, bloom where he plants you. Means you can be happy no matter who you are. You know what? When I'm full of God, when I'm full of him, I'm not going to be complaining about, well, I'm not where I want to be. Yeah. I used to be that way, okay? Yeah. I know you weren't, but <laughs> I used to be that way. Mm -hmm. But now I say, well, you know what? Thank God I'm in his, his divine plan. Mm -hmm. Thank God God is using me. Thank God I can be an instrument God can use. Mm -hmm. You know, we can turn that attitude yes. around. Instead of being negative, be positive. Amen. You have to make that choice. You know, I'm not just here to please somebody, entertain anybody. You know, he didn't put us here. He put us here to uh, uh, preach the gospel, not entertain people. That's it. Amen. So <laughs> come on now. <laughs> Don't throw anything at pastor. No matter what may be happening around you. And you know what? There's always things happening yes. around us. That's it. That's Amen. It. But you know, know that the greater is he that's in you yes. than he that's in the world. Yes. Amen. Have peace about it. You know, I said something like this. <laughs> Keep the peace. Don't let nobody take you out of your peace. That's it. They're going to come and they're going to try to get the mm -hmm. peace from you and bring the storms of life, bring all the problems of life. But you know what? You bring them into your peace. Mm -hmm. I said, wait a minute. You know what? I went through the same things, but now I have peace about it. Because where is he that's in me? Then he that's in the world. I have the peace of God. The Prince of Peace, Jesus, is in me. Mm -hmm. And you can have the same thing. Would you like, you know, it's time that you come to Christ. Amen. Yes. Amen. Quit, quit running around, wasting time. No matter the circumstances, the situations, or the problems, or the cares, greater is he that is in you than yes. he that is in the world. He put you here to be a winner, not a loser. That's it. That's it. Amen. The world will say, you're not qualified. You're a loser. Mm. And they'll label you and give you names and things like this. But you know what? I know I'm a child of God. I know I can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. And I'm a God, I'm a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. Amen. If you're gonna do that, you know, they'll never be pleased. Because they'll find something bad, they'll find something wrong with you. Oh yeah. Amen. So anyway, 
uh, let me read it all to you. This is uh, Mark 16, 15 through 18. Here's uh, 15 and 16 up here. 17 says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Yeah. These signs, we have some signs that's going to follow us. Mm -hmm. What signs are going to follow? He says, um, yeah. in my name, they shall cast out devils. Okay, we always run it out to somebody else to do it for us. <laughs> you have authority. You know, when you get in the word, you got to find out mm -hmm. authority belongs to you. Mm -hmm. And you got to take the authority and say to the devil, you know what? You're not going to chase me anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm going to chase you. I'm going to put you on the run. I'm going to submit myself to God, take authority, resist you, and you have to go. Yes. Amen. It says, you will cast out devils in my name. Mm -hmm. They shall... Um, speak with new tongues and 18 says and they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover mm -hmm. you know when your little baby is sick lay hands on them mm -hmm. your mom is sick somebody in your family is sick lay hands on them why because god given gives us the right to do this mm -hmm. by jesus stripes you're healed mm -hmm. i'm calling that sickness i'm calling that sickness to leave in jesus name uh, by Jesus stripes you are well you are healed now in Jesus name yeah. you know, sometimes you can't get to the doctor right away sometimes you can't go anywhere mm -hmm. but right then you know hey I'm taking the word of God and I'm using the word of God and I'm going to lay hands on my child amen. you know precious child amen or your, whoever happens to be but you are God's representative wherever you happen to be yes. amen you represent God you're the closest thing listen you're the closest thing <laughs> to a Bible some people would ever see or hear or see. Okay? So remember that. You're a child of God. You're the walking Bible, the body of Christ, the church going somewhere to happen for somebody. Amen? It's not just this. Well, I didn't have the Bible with me. No, but it's in you. And the yes. greater one is in you. Yes, and you're bringing the word of God to them. And that's the Bible walking somewhere. Going into all the world preaching the gospel to every creature. That's you. Amen. It's in you. Yeah. But you got, you got to get it in. You got to deposit. You can't go to the bank and withdraw if you don't have nothing in your account. There's no deposit in. You got to deposit the word in you. So you know what? When you make a withdrawal and you speak the word, it's going to come out. It's there. <laughs> oh, I tell Patricia that all the time. Can't withdraw. <laughs> so it says, "Go, you go, you go." Mm. It didn't say. It didn't say, "Pastor." Mm. It didn't say, "Pastor." It says, "Go into all the world." You, your, your, your neighborhood, your workplace. Mm. You go. Okay, that's you. <laughs> Nobody else. That's you. You know, that's two thirds of God's name. God, <laughs> go. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm going to give you another scripture. Keep going, guys. <clears throat> Here we go. 2 Timothy 2.15. You know, take these and highlight them. Underline them, you know. But it says this. What am I supposed to be doing? Well, I'm supposed yeah. to be studying. So, what do I study? It says, study to show yourself to prove unto God. A workman yeah. who needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Uh -huh. Amen. 2 Timothy 2.15. Uh -huh. So, Joel, go find it. And see what it says. Yes. If 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 you look at the um, if you look at the uh, Amplified Bible, it talks about the word of truth mm. is capitalized. Mm. That's the word of God, the Bible. Amen. Whew. Remember, we used to say this to the children all the time. You know what Bible stands for? Mm. Basic instruction before leaving earth. Mm. <laughs> so we need to get the basic instruction in the word before we leave this earth. Yes, yes. Amen? It's basic, but it's okay. You know what? It's basic enough to put the devil on the run. Yes, yes. It's basic enough for you to lay hands on somebody. Mm. Amen? It's basic enough for you to speak and things happen. Amen? Woo. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Glory to God. Keep going. This is good. Mm. Hallelujah. And see what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be doing like this. I am going, to, it says, and he shall be like a tree planted yes. by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in season. In his season, mm -hmm. his leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Amen. Hey, I'm going to be grounded on the word of God. Yes. Amen. I'm going to be grounded on the word of God. And you need to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Get the word of God in you. You know what happens when it goes in you? It's got to come out. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's got to come out. So don't fear about, well, you know, I can't ever learn scripture. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I just, I just can't. It's just me. Well, quit putting yourself down That's and it. quit talking about yourself. The Bible That's says it. you can do all oh. things through Christ who Amen. strengthens you. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need your strength. Lord, I have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay? I have the mind of Christ. I can learn. I can learn. Guess what? Read it. Mm -hmm. Just read it and read it and read it That's until it. it gets in there. Amen? Amen. It's, it's going to be there. <laughs> Praise God. Keep going. Man, this is good. Yes, it is. Woo. Hallelujah. This is on a daily thing here. Says this is today the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Guess what? If you're if you're full of negative things, if you're full of a fear, if you're just frightened, you're not going to rejoice. You know what, Pastor? Because you don't know. I've got all kinds of tears. I got all kinds of problems. You know. And you know what? We go around magnifying the problem before we magnify our God. Yeah, yeah. Do you know on a daily basis when you wake up? God has given you a new day. And you know you open your two eyes. And that's the first two miracles right there. You got a wake up call from God. And you know if you woke up. He's not finished with you. He's got an assignment for you. He yeah. wants you to do something. Yeah. Go into all the world. Oh. Go into all the world. And yes. preach the gospel. Preach the truth of God. Yes. Everywhere you go. You yeah. know what? Negative people. And these people. Unsaved people. They go around and they preach their negative things all the time. All the time. And you gotta hear it. <laughs> and you too are shame and too and too too frightened to speak the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to be where you are, but I have Christ in my life now and things have changed. I don't have those problems anymore. Mm -hmm. And if they do come, I know where to take them and I know where to cast them and leave them there. And you can share that with somebody that's yes. going to open their eyes, yes. their spiritual eyes, mm -hmm. to see, wow, I want what you've got. Mm -hmm. So we got to be careful. We watch our words and watch our actions. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're in that Bible going somewhere to happen for somebody. Yes. This yes. is the day the Lord has made. The Lord has blessed me with another day. What am I going to yeah. do? Be sad? Well, you don't know what problems are waiting me. <laughs> Amen. You know, everybody cries this every Friday. Man, they're so happy. Say, thank God for Friday. Thank God it's Friday. But they yeah. never say, thank God for Saturday or Sunday. Or thank God for Monday. It's only on Friday. Why? Because they know they're going to be off the rest of the week. <laughs> and they're happy for it. Why can't you be happy on the... It says, yeah. rejoice and be glad in it. Uh -huh. Each and every day. You know what? The greater one is in me. Mm -hmm. I have victory in me. I have happiness in me. It says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Strength, yes. Amen. Yes. You see the positive in the, of this instead of the negative. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, but you don't know all the prayers and all the problems I got. Well, listen, <laughs> listen. Why do you still oh, have them? Jesus. If he yeah. told you to cast it on him, uh -huh. how come you still got them? That's it, that's it. If, you, if, you, if you're going to cast it on him, mm -hmm. leave it, at, leave it at, 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 at the cross. That's it, that's it. Leave it there. And he says, give it to me. That's what he says. That give it to me. But we go and give and then we take it back. Yeah. <laughs> we can't do that. He didn't say for you to take it. He said, I've got something more important for you to do. Uh -huh. But you can't do it with all these cares and all these problems. That's it. You know, you got to cast those things on me so that you can go and have a free mind and free to say those things. Mm -hmm. And all these weights, all these distractions going to pull you down. Mm -hmm. Don't let it. That's it. Amen. Don't let it. Keep going. Man, is a good. <laughs> there we go. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So why be sad anymore? <laughs> the joy, his joy. You know, this is good medicine. Mm -hmm. You know, even your whole body knows. You know, when you smile, it's so much better for your body than yeah. being sad all the time. <laughs> Amen. It'll That's just it. cheer you up. Mm -hmm. Some of us are afraid to be cheerful. <laughs> We forgot how to be cheerful. <laughs> we we need to be oh, cheer, more cheerful. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. Keep one more. One more. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Go ahead, Colonel. There we go. Okay, leave it right yes. there. Apostle Paul was in prison most of his life. A well-educated man. Hmm. Amen. 
But you know what? He got full of God, and guess what? He rode. He rode. He felt he got full of God. He got full of the Word of God, and he wrote two thirds of the New Testament. And he, most of the time, he was in prison. Amen. Happy and content. He wrote two thirds of the New Testament. The Bible, or excuse me, the 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 body of Christ, the church, believers. That's us. You know, if nobody ever told you, you need to know them. Mm -hmm. You know, and not this building, you know. Mm -hmm. Or every time you, you pass a church building, mm -hmm. that's not the church. No. The church is us. Mm -hmm. He's the head and we're the body. Yeah. We're the body of Christ on earth going somewhere mm -hmm. to, to happen. And he wants us to be busy about the Father's business. Yes. Not just sitting down doing nothing. Yes, yes. Well, I'm not good enough. You know, if when you start putting yourself down mm -hmm. and not feeling well and not feeling... Uh, you're good. You're not good enough. It's when the enemy is pushing you down. Mm. <clears throat> you're, you've been listening to people mm. speaking negative about you and telling you that you're nobody. You're no good. Don't receive that. God didn't make junk. That's it. Amen. God didn't make you junk or a nobody. He made you a somebody. Yes. He did. And he made you an original. There's nobody else like you. Oh, thank God. That's how that's 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 how important that's how important it is. That's how important you are to him. Oh Jesus. But he also gifted you and equipped you and yes. called you and Amen. sent you on a mission for you to succeed and not fail. That's it. Amen. But you know, you start feeding on the word or in the world and you start feeding on the wrong things. And you're going to see yourself, well, I'm not as good as that person. Mm. And you start competing yourself, competing and, and comparing yourself to someone else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. If God made you, you're, you're blessed and you're That's good it. enough. That's it. Amen. So let's remember this. So God. we're God's church. Yes. Believers. Amen. And I'm going to read this to you, and I want you to really grasp it, okay? This is in 1 Corinthians, if you want to follow along. I'm going to read it to you, but uh, it's from the Message Bible. It's a different translation, but I want you to read it. I like the way they say it here. 1 Corinthians, what? 1 Corinthians chapter 12. The whole chapter 12 is great, amen? But I'm going to read uh, uh, chapter 12, verses 27 through 31, okay? Mm -hmm. But listen, listen to this, okay? Listen to this. Okay. It says, you are Christ body. This is the word of God telling you. You are Christ's body. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. That's who you are. And listen to this. You must never forget this. Mm -hmm. Don't forget this. He wants us to remember this. We're his body on earth. Yes. And he wants us to remember this. Who are you? I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. I'm in the body of Christ. Amen. It says, only as you accept your part of the, that body does your part mean anything to you. Mm -hmm. You know, I've said it like this before. You know, you can work out a beautiful puzzle. Mm -hmm. But if you take one piece out, mm -hmm. it's incomplete. Yeah. And man, I just throw it away. It's not completed. There's something missing. Well, you know that missing piece is you. Mm -hmm. That's how important you are to the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. That piece is you. You're that piece that's missing. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You need to include yourself. Yes. And work in unity with the rest of the body. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it says, until you accept your part of that body, that part is meaningless to you. Mm -hmm. So you have to accept that God has gifted you. And God is giving you these things. And you have to accept your mm -hmm. part as into the body. Mm -hmm. It says, you're familiar with some of the parts God has given his church. Mm -hmm. Which is the body. Apostles, prophets, teachers, miracle workers, healers, helpers, organizers, and those who pray in tongues. Mm. It says Christ's church is a complete body. And he talks uh, about the body of Christ as a, a physical body. Mm -hmm. And the physical body has many, many, many parts. That's right. And God put every part where he wants it. That's it. That's okay? So let's remember this. He put, he placed it where he wants it. Mm -hmm. So the Christ church is a complete body. Mm -hmm. Not all are apostles, not all are prophets, mm -hmm. not all are miracle workers, mm -hmm. and not all are healers, not all pray in tongues, and not all interpret of tongues. Mm -hmm. Yet, says some of you keep on competing 
for important parts. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> God placed you where he wants you. Yeah. yeah. And they're competing for mm -hmm. in more important parts. <laughs> if God placed you there, that's where he wants you. Yeah, yeah, that's important enough. That's important enough because he put you there. Mm -hmm. But some of you compete for, mm, mm -hmm. I could be doing something better. Yeah. Or somebody mm -hmm. came and told you, is that all you do for God? Mm -hmm. You could be doing something better. They bring the world into the church, into the body. Yes. And we start competing instead of completing one another. Mm -hmm. We complete one another. Mm -hmm. It says, all parts are important in his complete body. Yes. All parts are important. Mm -hmm. You know this physical body? All parts are important for this yeah. physical body to function. And all, all, yeah, even the little toe. <laughs> Or inner parts, you know, you know, you can't see your inner parts, but it, it pl plays a big vital part yes, because it, it keeps your body functioning right. Right, right. Amen. So praise God. Don't exclude anything. Just include yourself. Mm -hmm. All parts, all part. Oh, excuse me. Uh, all parts are important mm -hmm. to this body. All participate. All are involved. All serve in unity. And no division. This physical body, there's, you know, all these parts work together. Mm -hmm. And there's unity. Mm -hmm. And there's no division. Okay. And that's where the enemy tries to come in. Uh -huh. Steal, kill, destroy. Yeah. And put division, bring division. Uh -huh. There's no division in Christ. There's only unity. Amen. He wants us to be united. And then no competing, but completing one another. Amen. God said, God planned, God said. God called you and he gifted you. So do your best for him. You know, Jesus came and he did his best for the Father. And he, he was he, he was sacrificed. But he gave it, gave everything, gave himself to the Father. Amen. And you know, he didn't like, even if he didn't like what they did, still, he told the Father before he gave up himself back to the Father, he says, forgive him. Don't charge this against them, you know. Forgive them. So we need to be Christ-like. And we need to love one another. And we need to walk in His love and His compassion. And we need to love the, the unlovable. <laughs> Amen. Amen. First Corinthians again, 12. Chapter 12, verse 18 goes like this. It says, But now God has said every member, each one of them in the body, just as He pleases. He said to you where he wants you. Don't fight or dislike where he sets you. Mm -hmm. If when you start competing and you start comparing with somebody else, you start thinking about, well, you know, this is not where I want to be. Aren't you glad your hand says, man, I'd like to be where the foot set. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> I want to switch places with my foot. Foot is a better place. Well, you know what? My hand, I'd rather be the head because everybody sees the head. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, we're not com com comparing or competing against one another. Like, just like, and uh, where God sets you. Be pleased. Our bodies have many parts, and God has placed each part just where He wants it. Yes. God put the parts in the body as He wanted them, mm -hmm. and He made a place for each one. God, He's our Creator. He created us. Remember, He's the Potter, and He's yes. the Potter, and we're the clay. And, and he, 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 he created it just the way he wants us. God put every part in the body just where he wants it. Yes, he did. You know, if you have any complaints, go to him and, and, and talk to him. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you'll find out you're wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, grow where God sets you. You're not yes. going to change his mind, okay? That's it. You need to change your mind, amen? The problem is not with him. The problem is with us. We got to accept and receive what God has given us. Amen. He didn't give us junk. <laughs> uh, grow where God sits and, and, or plants you. Too many people live negative and discouraged lives because they don't like where they are. Oh my I know this is not you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like their jobs. And listen, some of us spend a whole lifetime and retire from jobs they hate. Oh my gosh. Amen. Mm. You know what? If you love your God, you're going to spend time with Him, mm -hmm. and you're going to love wherever you go. Yes, yes, because yes, yes. I am going to be, I'm in God's divine plan. Yes. 
and he's going to use me wherever I go. And I'm going to do my best wherever God sends me and wherever God places me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, <laughs> and we got to work. No work, no food. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, work, don't eat. Don't eat. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't like where they are in life. Mm -hmm. They're not where they want to be. And always competing. Always, <clears throat> always competing. Mm -hmm. Always uh, fighting, negative, complaining against anything. Yeah. You know, we learn this from others. They are not grounded in the word. That are unbelievers. And we hear them and we start doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. We're not parents. We're children of God. Yes. Amen. And if you need something and you got something, then you go to him and talk yes. to him. Yes. Amen. And he, he's, he's going to straighten things out. Yes, he will. And he's going to straighten us because he's not the problem. <laughs> Bloom where you're set or where you planted. Listen, every plant, every flower, every tree is fruitful and flowers where he sets it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter where the seed fell, it's going to grow. <laughs> and you know what? That flower or that whatever it is, it's not going to cry and complain. This is not where I want to be, so I'm not going to bloom. <laughs> you know what? I took a few days to replant a cactus. And it was not even in the ground. Mm. And still, that cactus yeah. flowered That's and it. bloomed. It bloomed its, 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 its flower mm -hmm. right there, even not in, in, in the dirt. Mm -hmm. It wasn't planted yet. Mm -hmm. I hadn't planted it yet, and the flower was there, and it was, guess what? The flower was beautiful. <laughs> so praise God, you know, wherever he sets you, yes. bloom for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bloom for Jesus. Amen. People are going to see these things, you know. So you call yourself a child of God. People are going to watch. They're going to watch your words, watch, watch your actions. Some of you keep waiting for things to get better before you have a good attitude, uh, before you have a bad attitude, or before you have a winning attitude. Well, you got to show me something. Be God's best where you are now. Amen. Amen. You know what? <laughs> you're in the right place. Yeah, yeah. If you ended up in, in prison for some reason, still, you can still be a child of God wherever you are, just mm -hmm. like Paul. Be the best you can be wherever you are. Amen. Lord, I'm going to do this unto you. I'm in your, you have accepted Christ. So now, Lord, I'm in your divine plan. Mm -hmm. And I'm with you. And you're with me. And I'm going to do my best. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are. Put a smile on your face. Give me fear on a break. <laughs> Some of them haven't smiled in ages. Oh, <laughs> Some have forgotten how to smile. Oh, my goodness. It won't cost you anything. <laughs> Just do it. Put a smile on your face. Sometimes it makes people mad. Oh, yeah. Because they want you to be sad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. They, like I said a few minutes ago, they want to bring the storm on you. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You keep your you keep your smile. Mm -hmm. And you keep your joy. Mm -hmm. And bring them into your joy and yes. your peace. And not let them bring the storm and dump their storm on you. Oh, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be good. Be kind. Even if they're not good or kind. Yes, yes. <laughs> Be grateful where you're living, mm -hmm. even if not where you want to live. Yes, yes. <laughs> Amen. Or want to be. Mm -hmm. Nothing in life happens to us, but it happens for us. Amen. Keep the right attitude. When things mm -hmm. happen to us, instead of having a bad attitude or complaining, mm -hmm. our attitude should be this. God, I may not be, I may not like this, but I know that I'm in your divine plan. Yes. And I'm going to give you my best. Amen. Amen. Oh, man. That's where this comes in right here. Yes. One of my favorite scriptures here. Colossians 3, 23 and 24 says, Whatever you do, and this, this translation says, Whatever you do, do it enthusiastically. Uh -huh. All right. You know, when we're doing things for the world, when we're doing things for ourselves, man, we're on fire. We do all kinds of things, excited and things. You know, when we, when we, when we try to do something for God, man, we're sad. And we want everybody to see that we're not even having a good time. Oh we're not even God. enjoying this. <laughs> yeah. And you want to lead people to Christ? Oh, Jesus. Man, you got a frown on your face. Oh, Jesus. And you're looking real mm -hmm. ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Just whatever you do, do it enthusiastically as yeah. something done for the Lord, Lord. and Amen. not for men. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>
Hallelujah. I, I, I was here yesterday uh, doing the yard around the church. I say, Lord, I'm doing this under you. And when I'm doing it under him, I put a smile on my face. All right. You know, I was sweating. <laughs> it was hot. Yeah, it was. Okay? And I could complain about all kinds of things. <laughs> but I didn't let it. You know why? Because I say, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. And you know what? My God is going to visit this place. Mm -hmm. Amen? And I'm doing this under you because I know my God is going to be here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give it my best. Mm -hmm. Amen? I don't just do halfway stuff. I go all the way. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we're trying to impress somebody. We go all the way out. <laughs> we're trying to... It, it, for, for, for the Lord, we just halfway do things, or sometimes we don't even do it. All right. Come on now, don't hide it now. He knows. <laughs> he knows all about you. <laughs> he knows all about me. Oh, Jesus. It says, you know, Lord, another man, knowing that you will receive the reward of an inheritance from the Lord, you serve the Lord Christ. Yes. You're doing it under Him. You'd be surprised how many times. When I'm doing things, so I said, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. And physically, it don't feel good. Hmm. You don't want to do it, but it's got to get done because yes. nobody else is doing it. And I'm not complaining and say, well, nobody was here to help me. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. So y'all want a bad uh, yard? I'm just going to leave it by itself. <laughs> nobody wants to clean it? I'm just going to leave it messed up. No. That, that don't make it right. And that's the wrong attitude. <laughs> Come on now. Still a little passion. <laughs> May not feel good, but it's allowing me to grow and mature mm. to be uh, all God created me to be. Amen. Okay? The Lord. Some of you, he still got great things for you. Amen. You haven't even touched some of the things he wants you to do. Mm. And he wants to use you. Yes, you, okay? Now, I'm not talking about somebody else. I'm talking about you. Yes. He wants to use you. And yes. he did this for you. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We tend to fight against everything that doesn't go our way. Oh. We're always trying to get somewhere else to uh -huh. be happy. You know what? <laughs> if that was my house, if that was my yard, it looks greener on the other side. Oh. It looks better on the other side. Mm. Well, you know what? Whatever you've got, God is blessed. Mm -hmm. And you can keep it clean, or you can keep it the way you want it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Still, Lord, you are welcome in my place. Mm -hmm. Amen. And remember that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Bloom where you're planted. Where you uh, sow seed of kindness for God to do something new in your life, or someone else. Mm -hmm. Seeds of kindness. Mm -hmm. Bring up. Says brighten up somebody's day. Yes. You know, it always waiting for somebody to do something for you. Uh -huh. Why don't you do something for somebody? Amen. You know, Amen. that person that you always talking against, that's down and out. Oh boy. You could have spoken something yeah. and says, you know, God yeah. loves you. Have a blessed day. Amen. You know, lift them up instead of setting Amen. them down all the time. Yes. But you can do these things. Be a blessing. God has blessed you. Listen, God blesses you so that you can be a blessing. And that's something that's for you. <laughs> God bless you so you can be a blessing. Amen. Praise God. Be God's best where you are now and on the way to where He, he wants you to be. He's not finished with me yet. He's not finished with you. He wants to bless you and to go and go, grow and go for Him on a daily basis. Put a smile on your face, put a pep on your step, and start get pepped up for Jesus. Give it all you've got. You can do all things through Christ. Get stirred up for Jesus. You know, we get, get stirred up. Hey, you know, hey, something's happening this weekend, man. We get all stirred up. Whatever it is, we can get stirred up for Jesus on a daily basis. You know why? Because he woke you up this morning. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Man, uh, yeah. get stirred up and stay hungry and stay thirsty for more of him and get filled up and go. You know, hey, there's some giants waiting out there for me. All but right. you know what? They're going to get some of some Jesus. <laughs> and <laughs> when they see you coming, man, they run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Remember this. This negative world, listen to this. <laughs> you can write this down. This negative world, people will do their best to bring you down. Uh-huh. Okay? I don't you may not find, you may not find too many people that are wanting to encourage you and lift you up. But you're going to find a lot of people that's always wanting to put you down. There's a lot of road raids out there all the time. Oh, my. There's raids everywhere you go. Oh, gosh. But you know what? You can share kindness. You can yes. share his love and his compassion. And you know, put your Jesus glasses on on a daily basis. Yes. Here's my Jesus glasses. Uh. Put your Jesus glasses on when you go <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> and guess what? You see him. Through his eyes. I'm his eyes. And I want to love, have love and compassion to old people. See them the way he sees them. Not the way I've been seeing them. Not the way I've been putting them down. Uh -huh. But lift them up. Amen. You know, a kind word will go a long ways. Yes, it will. Amen. So, I know y'all like my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're on Jesus' team. Jesus team never loses. That's it. You're on this winning team. You know what team is? Team is together. Everyone achieves more. Amen. And we achieve more by staying in unity. Amen. Staying in unity together. Be loving even when they're unlovable. Amen. Be good when they're not good. Be kind when they are rude. I know yes. you never run across these people. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I do, but I, I know you don't. Be grateful where you're living, even if it's not, if it's not where you want to be. That's it. Have the right attitude. Yes. yes. You going, Colonel? I got something here just for knowing the kids. <laughs> okay, yeah. This goes with bringing the gospel to the world. It's yes. Matthew 5, 16. King James says, Let your light shine before men. That they may see your good works <coughs> and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. You're, he's our He's our example. He showed us, mm -hmm. but He's our light, and the Word is the light, and we're going to walk in light in this dark world. Amen. And they're going to see the light, and they're going to see the Father. Amen. Keep going. <coughs> attitude. Everybody has an attitude. Oh, they say attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Uh huh. And nobody cares. Oh man, they got an attitude. Yeah, they got an attitude. It's not good. It's bad. It's negative. Keep going, Curtis. Here we go. There you go, Noah. It's a bad attitude. It's like a tire. You can't go anywhere until you change it. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Nobody wants your attitude. That's it. Nobody wants your bad attitude. Uh -uh. If it's not for Jesus, That's it. <laughs> nobody wants your bad attitude. We got to change it. You know what? Hey, you got a nice car, nice truck. A nice bike, but you know what? You can't ride it, and you can go anywhere it. with a flat tire. You got you have to change it. Yeah. One more time. There we go. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? Bad attitude is like a flat tire. You won't get anywhere till you change it. Oh gosh. You know if you got a bad attitude, you know what you need to do? You need to spend time with him. Yeah. When you spend time with him, remember. You ain't going to come out of there with a bad attitude. Amen. So in closing, yeah. nothing in life happens to us, but it happens for us. Keep the right attitude and let God guide and provide for us. Amen. Let him be your blessing. But he blesses you to be a blessing. Amen. So praise God. Did you get anything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Where's my amen? Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. You know, those of you watching, you've never accepted Christ. It's time for you to accept Christ. Amen. All you need to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And you know what? He will. And you know, find you a Bible-based church where you can start. Get you a Bible. Start reading the Word. And get the Word in you. Yes. Amen. Things start changing yes. and start growing and growing for God. Amen. Yes. For Jesus on a daily basis. Yes. Praise God. Amen. If you're sick, you know, he's not giving us a spirit of, uh, uh, of sickness, but he's, the Bible says, by his stripes we're healed. Heal. So we're calling ourselves healed. 
Amen. Body will be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. You can lay hands on that body and just say, He said, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So I'm laying hands on myself. And I'm calling myself healed in Jesus' name. Whatever is aching you, whatever is malfunctioning, Amen. He didn't make you and create you that way. Amen. Amen. So malfunctions go in Jesus' name. Yeah. Be healed by Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So it's time to give. You can go to our website, Big Ben, NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App, go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. Remember, grow and go and forgive on a daily basis. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. God loves you and we love you.